Hello and welcome once again to our Daily Soap. Today we're continuing our journey through the Gospel of Mark and we're looking today at Mark chapter 4. What verse or verses stood out for you today? How did you feel God speaking to your heart today? For me, it was verses 33 and 34. It says, With many such parables he spoke the word to them as they were able to hear it. He did not speak to them without a, a parable, but privately to his own disciples, he explained everything. My oh, my observation is, Jesus taught about God's kingdom using parables, and he still delights in mystifying, uh, for lack of a better word, mystifying those who follow him. He will wait until we are alone with him, and then he reveals his grace and truth to our hearts. You know, as I as I think about this, I think about how Jesus taught, and I can picture him in a crowded room teaching about God's kingdom, and he throws this parable out, um, and the people continue to listen to him in this crowded room. Um, suddenly, as he finishes the parable, you know, kind of dissipates a little bit you know there there are people who say oh man that was a great story and turn and walk off there are others who are um yeah i don't understand what he's talking about i'm gone but those who remained in that room jesus taught privately and he explained the parables to them so that they they might understand more about god's kingdom and so my a my application is Every parable speaks to us corporately, but they also speak to us privately during our own personal time with him. This emphasizes the importance of my quiet time in his word and through prayer. This time, therefore, is my lifeline. Now I'll put that in quotation marks. This time with him, therefore, is my lifeline for spiritual growth. And so my P, my prayer is, Lord, thank you for the gift of quiet time with you. Grant me the wisdom and serenity that I need to search for those treasures that are hidden in your word. By your spirit, help me to understand what you want me to know each day and keep me close to you. Amen. So this is my soap today. Love to hear how God's speaking to you. You can use the comment section below the video. Don't forget to click like. That helps us spread the word uh, on what we're doing in this online community and walking through the Gospels and different books of the Bible together to do that. We never know um, who might come across these and say, you know, I, I'd like to participate in that. And and in turn, um, they are pulled closer to God by spending time in his word. We never know how God's going to work through those things. I'm glad that you were able to join us today. I uh, hope you all are doing well and that God's speaking to you once again. would love to hear those if you're willing to share those. And now as we close this time together, would you join me in a word of prayer? Let's pray. Lord, your word is, is just amazing. Father, there are so many hidden treasures that are out, that are in your word, that are there waiting to speak to each of us individually. And Father, going to church and hearing sermons or listening to videos is always a great thing. Um, but Father, you want to speak to us each individually. And Father, that occurs during our own personal quiet time with you. And so, Lord, I pray that for all of us, uh, you would grant us the wisdom to take advantage of that time, to sit in your lap and to read your word, to hear you speak to us so that we might better understand your kingdom and most importantly, be drawn closer to you. Father, that's what it means to also be a disciple. And so, Father, I pray for each person who has read so far these first four chapters of Mark. Father, I pray that they are hearing your voice and that they are uh, not just hearing it and thinking about it, but they're applying it to their own walks in their lives. Father, thank you for your great love for us. Father, thank you 
for the gift of your love and mercy and grace. Father, thank you for the gift of your Holy Spirit that guides and directs us and empowers us to go out and be disciples for you. Let us be still and listen to you, for you are God. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Have a great day. Be blessed. Thank you.